Well, good afternoon. I am all most welcome, my dear viewers and listeners. This is a student of Aga Khan University, Institute for East Africa, for Education East Africa, coming to present to you a paper on the physical features of East Africa. By names, I am called Angweo George. I hope you'll be with me and follow this paper critically. Uh, the physical features of East Africa, at times known as relief features, encompass all the Earth's surface natural factors. And these factors include mountains, valleys, swamps, plains, rivers, and oceans in their different categories. So, all these physical features at a go. But we are going to pick one by one. And to begin with, we are going to look at the rift valleys of East Africa, so that we are able to know in details. The rift valley. What is a rift valley in East Africa? A rift valley is defined as any elongated trough or a linear shaped lowland. And this linear shaped lowland is created by a geological rift. That is when the earth moves apart from each other due to tensional forces within the earth's crust. And this makes the earth to pull apart due to these forces. And as the earth pulls, pull, pulls apart, it creates a very huge valley. And with the time, this valley goes side by side by side until it forms what we call a rift valley. The rift valley of East Africa starts from Ethiopia. And from Ethiopia, it runs and enters Kenya from Lake Rudolph. It crosses Kenya into the Kenyan-Tanzanian border and it slopes down at lake, to Lake Malawi and then ends at Lake at uh, Mozambique. But when we reach Malawi Lake, this rift valley divides into two. That's why we have the eastern arm and the western arm. What you can see there is a picture of the Rift Valley, how it looks like. You can see the tensional forces pulling the earth's crust aside, creating a very deep valley. That is referred to as the Rift Valley, as you can see. Uh, from what you can see, the Rift Valley, as I said, is divided into three parts. Namely, the eastern branch from Lake Turkana in Kenya up to Lake Malawi. Then you have the western branch, which runs from the Lake Malawi, following the western boundaries, up to Uganda, where Lake Alba is. Then we have the Ethiopian Rift Valley, which connects from Red Sea and ends at uh, Lake Turkana. So we are going to look at a map which shows the Rift Valley, how it looks like from Red Sea. Red Sea through Ethiopia into the Turkana Lake. From Turkana Lake, it slopes down up to Lake Malawi. I think you can see Lake Malawi on the southern side of Tanzania. Then there, it follows the western part of the boundary with the DRC until it reaches Uganda, where Lake Albert is. That is a map. At the opportune time, you will be able to uh, have a clear view of that lake. I mean, that, that, that arm. Then we are going to look at features found in the Rift Valley. The Rift Valley has the following features. It has lakes, lakes like Lake Albert, Lake George, Lake Edward, Lake Tanganyika, and some of the lakes found in, in Kenya. These include Lake Naivasa, Nakuru, Elementaita, Baringo, in that order. But now when you look at some of these lakes, despite being the Rift Valley, they have fresh water. Especially Lake Baringo and Lake Naivasa. They contain fresh water, which people enjoy. We are going to look finally at the economic activities that we also find in the Rift Valley. Much is, as it's a valley, it, has, it is very helpful. The economic activities which you have include the wildlife. We have Kigyo Wildlife Conservation in Kenya. We have Naivasa National Park, among others. Apart from that, the Rift Valley also is used for agricultural activities. Plantations do exist in the Rift Valley. 
these plantations help the government raise a lot of money and employ people. Then we have salt mining in Lake Magadi. You know, without salt, we can't survive. So this is also found in the Rift Valley. And fishing. Fishing is also heavily done in the lakes and rivers in the Rift Valley. The Rift Valley. Lastly, we have human activities. Schools are also built in the Rift Valley. It's not something which is very small. It is a very wide area that is covered and accommodates human activities. Apart from the schools, other things include towns. Finally, we are not going to conclude all these things today. I know next time we'll get the same chance and continue from there. But in conclusion of the lesson of today, with all the physical features and resources, we have human activities found in Rift Valley. We also have other assets that exist in the Rift Valley. So it means the Rift Valley is a means of creation of employment opportunities to our learners of 21st century in East Africa to meet the knowledge economy. Thank you very much for listening.